Hi guys, Jonathan here with the House Pro Takeoff team. Today I'm going to run you through using these exact plans how you can do a drywalling takeoff using the tools available to you on House Pro. To clone a page, you can do so by hitting the three buttons at the edge of the thumbnail here. You can clone the page with and without measurements. In this example, we'll do it without measurements to give us a fresh page to do a separate takeoff. You can also rename the pages as you go. This will be beneficial as you'll be able to keep track of what you've done at a later stage. A great feature we've added is the keyword search. In this example, I'm going to search for gypsum and you can see the pages in which the keyword is returned and how many times it features on the page. You can scroll between the PDFs in the left hand column here. You can choose your line width. I'll show you how that's applicable in a moment. Importantly is the page scale. House Pro is automatically set as a quarter inch is equal to a foot, but you can select from the drop down here any page scale you can think of. Once you've selected the correct page scale, best practice is to make a known measurement. This will ensure that the plans are calibrated and all of your measurements are correct going forward. Select the length, click to start, double click to finish, and you'll see the measurement in the top right in the measurements drawer. As I said, if that's correct, you'll know everything is good to go going forward. Now let's get into the takeoff. The first thing we recommend you do is set up your groups ahead of time. So here I'm setting up the 5 8 type wall X. Give it a color. If it's something you measure every time you upload a project to House Pro, you can save it to your favorites. This will associate it with your account and will be available every time you begin a new project. Now you can begin to measure. With the length selected and your group also selected, you click to start, click to drop a marker and change direction. And when you're finished the measurement, you double click to finish. Because we have them in the group folder, you can see all of the individual measurements being added into that group and giving you a total sum at the end. Here's where the line width can come into play. If you want to make it stand out a little bit more on the canvas, just so as you can be sure that you've measured everything appropriately, you can change the line width to suit. Once you're happy of all the walls measured, you can then add in additional parameters. By checking the blue box in the middle of the measurements drawer, you'll be given that option. You can add in a height, width, depth, or pitch. In this example, we know that the walls are 11 feet high, so we add in 11 foot and we have the lineal feet multiplied by the height, which will give us the total square footage for the walls. Now we're going to do the count. For this, I've already created our corner bead, so I select the corner bead from the drop down menu and go around the canvas counting where I find it on the plans. This will give you a sum total of corner beads up in the top right corner as usual. Next, we're going to get the area of the ceiling. Check the polygon. Again, hit the drop down. If we've got our 5 8 inches type X ceiling already set out, we can begin to measure it now. Click to start, click to drop a marker and change direction. And once you've completed the perimeter, double click and you'll get the total area of the ceiling. By collapsing the group folder and hovering over the measurements, they will illuminate on the canvas so as you'll be able to tell which one is which. You can also get the perimeter of any area using the House Pro. What you do is check the box beside the group and you'll be given the option to get a perimeter. In this example, we're going to name it Molding and by duplicating the measurement, we now have the floor area. You can treat these differently, give them a height or give them a different costing once you get to the estimate stage. It's about working a little bit smarter, not necessarily harder. Next, I'm going to show you the annotation feature. This is really handy when you're dealing with clients or if you have guys on site and you want to give them exact specifications. Hit the Anno tool. It will automatically be selected for text. Give it a color, give it a size. You can write in whatever notes it is you want. Use the arrow feature to point to exactly what you're trying to specify. Then you have the highlighting feature. Again, this will enable you to highlight parts of the plan and be really specific in your instructions, as well as the cloud feature. This has been a really high level overview on how you can use the tools on House Pro to do your drywalling takeoff. Keep in mind that it is applicable for all trades. You just have to apply it correctly. 
You can then use the takeoff that you've done and send it to estimates, applying your rates and sending a really professional estimate to your contractors or homeowners. If you have any questions, be sure to get in touch with our product experts. Mm-hmm.